Y'all, Mayor Eric Adams, he's facing 45 years in prison. I ain't lying. I got the press release right here that basically summarizes what he is accused of doing, what he is charged with, how many counts, and how many years in prison that carries if he's found guilty. Get your coffee cups. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Tabitha Speaks Politics. I am your host, Tabitha. First, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my followers that are in the state of Georgia. Baby, we are dealing with this storm. I am praying that you all are doing okay, that you aren't exper experiencing any real heavy damage. I pray that you and your families are safe because it's been raining nonstop. For the last two days and I know how it is here in the state of Georgia for it to be raining that long with no breaks I know trees have got to be falling on houses and power lines I know several people have to be without power I know floods that are all across the state I know that people still have to try to find their way into the office, into their places of employment this morning, basically have to risk their lives so that they can maintain a job and keep a paycheck. I feel you, I see you, and I hear you. Listen, if you've come across this video and are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. We talk all things politics over here by way of viral political news stories. Sometimes if celebrity gossip or entertainment news intersects with political news, I will speak on that subject as well but we have a good time talking about what's happening politically and socially in our country and you get opinion based commentary from me based on those viral news stories an educated black woman who lives here in the United States everything I do is for the education of the black community. I want my people to understand how important their vote is, how powerful their vote is. I want them to be educated on the shenanigans of these politicians when they get into that voting booth. I recognize that even though I, my message is directed towards the black community, I recognize that Anybody, regardless of race, religion, gender, anybody can gain some knowledge from what I put out here on my channel. So everyone is welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't be sorry. Baby, Mayor Eric Adams is facing some serious time. Some serious time. He been taking bribes. From the Turkish government, he's been doing some real sh sh shady, sneaky, underhanded things when it comes to campaign contributions. These, he's been receiving illegal campaign contributions from foreign governments, the Turkish government specifically. And how he was doing it is illegal. And he's been giving favor to these foreign governments, specifically the Turkish government. And it's all listed in the press release that the Department of Justice put out. And in this press release, they have a link to the actual indictment documents. I will put both links 
the link to this press release and the link to those indictment documents in the description box so you can go on over y'all know that's what I do I give y'all a resource on whatever it is I'm talking about if I have a resource I'm going to share it with you because I don't come in here talking out of my bootie. I don't do what Donald Trump does. I don't do what J.D. Vance does. I don't do what Laura Loomer does. I have a source, a valid, credible source that I try to provide you with. Look for the links down in the description box. But I'm getting ready to read this press release in its entirety. As alleged in the indictment, for nearly a decade, Mayor Eric Adams has used his prominent positions in New York City government to obtain illegal campaign contributions and luxury travel. Adams solicited and accepted these benefits from foreign nationals, businessmen, and others. Adams then pressured the New York City Fire Department to facilitate the opening of a foreign government's Manhattan skyscraper that had not passed a fire inspection. To conceal this criminal conduct, Adams took steps to hide his receipt of improper benefits from the public and law enforcement. In 2014, Adams was elected Brooklyn Borough President. Thereafter, Adams sought and accepted improper valuable benefits such as luxury international travel, including from wealthy foreign business people, and at least one Turkish government official seeking to gain influence over him. And I believe when when um, Mayor Eric Adams at the time was the Brooklyn Borough president, that's when he got hooked up with the, the bling pastor. Remember I told y'all about Bishop Lamore Whitehead in the little breaking news report that I did regarding this on yesterday? I told y'all about the bling pastor, a.k.a. Bishop Lamore Whitehead. I believe this is where he and Merrick Adams became friendly. Moving on. By 2018, Adams, who had by then made known his plans to run for mayor for New York City, not only accepted but sought illegal campaign contributions to his 2021 mayoral campaign from foreign nationals as well as other things of value. As Adams' prominence and power grew, his foreign national benefactors sought to cash in on their corrupt relationships with him, particularly when it became clear that Adams would become New York City's mayor in 2021. New York, you could have had uh, Mayor Maya. I forget her last name, but Maya be given um, political commentary on MSNBC. I mostly see her on Morning Joe, and sometimes I see her on Joy Ann Reed. Y'all could have had Mayor Maya, but some kind of way, y'all got this crooked individual. But moving on, Adams agreed. Provi providing favorable treatment in exchange for the illicit benefits he received. After his inauguration as mayor of New York City, Adams soon began preparing for his next election, including by planning to solicit more illegal contributions and granting requests from those who supported his 2021 mayoral campaign with such donations. Adams sought and accepted illegal campaign contributions in the form of nominee or straw contributions, meaning that the true contributors conveyed their money through nominal donors who falsely certified they were contributing their own money. So what these foreign nationals would do was they would hook up with Sharon down there on the corner and say, Sharon, I want you to donate this $1,000 to Mayor Eric Adams' campaign. And you're going to say that this is coming directly from you. And I'll give you $50 
under the table if you do this for me. Not saying that that part, that part happened, but yeah, the premise is Sarah, the Turkish government would, would hook up with Sarah, Sarah paid his thousand dollars to as a campaign donation to Mayor, Ad, Mayor Eric Adams campaign. And you must attest that it is your money that you are donating to his campaign. Don't tell those people that we gave it to you. You are donating this money. So that's how it went down. And that is against the law. Receiving money from foreign entities is against the law. But moving on. Where am I? Meaning that the true contributors conveyed their money through nominal donors who falsely certified they were contributing their own money. By, smug by smuggling their contributions to Adams through U.S.-based straw donors, Adams' overseas contributors defeated federal laws that served to prevent foreign influence on U.S. elections. Wealthy individuals evaded laws designed to limit their power over elected officials by restricting the amount any one person can donate to a candidate. So in addition to that law, that campaign law, I can only donate a certain amount to a political candidate, me. So if I wanted to donate it, t donate ten million dollars to Kamala Harris, I believe that's against the law. There, there is a limit on how much we can donate. What that limit is, I don't know. But moving on, any businesses circumvented New York City's ban on corporate contributions by funneling their donations through multiple employees. So what they would do is they would get Sarah, they would get Jan, they would get Amy, they would get Luke, they would get Peter. And they would tell them, okay, you gonna donate five hundred dollars, you gonna donate twenty five dollars, you gonna and so on and so on. So they don't go over. It's not any one individual making these donations, which would eventually get to the limit. Y'all get what I'm saying? Okay. Moving on. Where am I? Frustrating a law which seeks to reduce corporate power in politics. Adams increased his fundraising by accepting these concealed illegal donations at the cost of giving his secret patrons the undue influence over him that the law tries to prevent. So, yeah, he accepted this money knowing that he was going to carry favor to these to the originator of these donations. Um, and he was OK with that. Moving on. Adams compounded his gains from the straw contributions by using them to defraud New York City and steal public funds. So on top of breaking campaign um, donation laws, he's pulling in another scam. New York City has a matching funds program that matches small dollar donations from individual city residents with up to eight times their amount in public funds to give New Yorkers a greater voice in elections. Adams campaigns applied for matching funds based on known straw donations, fraudulently, fraudulently obtaining as much as $2,000 in public funds for each illegal contribution. So Sarah donates $50. There's a program with, the, with, the, with, with New York that the funds would be matched. That $50 donation would be matched. And it's up to the politician to claim those funds. And Eric Adams getting money from illegal foreign contributors, breaking the law by using New York residents. And then on top of that, using multiple people so you can increase the amount of money that you get without hitting that limit. On top of that, you're requesting for those funds to be matched. Baby, uh, they followed the money. You know what they say, follow the money. The feds followed the money. Moving on, as a result of those false certifications, Adams 
2021 mayoral campaign received more than $10 million in public funds. Adams also sought and received other improper benefits from some of the co-conspirators who funneled straw donations to his campaigns. In particular, a, sing a senior official in the Turkish diplomatic establishment who facilitated many straw donations to Adams also arranged for Adams and his companions to receive free or discounted travel on Turkey's national airline, which is owned in significant part by the Turkish government, to destinations including France, China, Sri Lanka, India, Hungary, and Turkey itself. The Turkish official and other Turkish nationals further arranged for Adams and his companions to receive, among other things, free rooms at opulent hotels, free meals at high-end restaurants, and free luxurious entertainment while in Turkey. Adams and, other wor and others working at his direction repeatedly took steps to shield his solicitation and acceptance of these benefits from public scrutiny. Adams did not disclose the travel benefits he obtained in annual financial disclosures he was required to file as a New York City employee. Sometimes Adams agreed to pay a nominal fee to create the appearance, the illusion of having paid for travel that was heavily discounted. Other times Adams created and instructed others to create fake paper trails falsely suggesting that he had paid or planned to pay for travel benefits that were actually free. And Adams deleted messages with others involved in his misconduct, including in one instance, according to according to a co-conspirator in writing, he always deleted her message. That's a quote. In September 2021, the Turkish official told Adams, now it's time for for Mayor Adams to, to pay up, right? We done, we done flew you out. You done been to Sri Lanka. You done been to France. You done been to Turkey. You done been to China. On our dime, you done stayed in the finest hotels. You've had the finest meals. You've had um, um, opulence when it comes to entertainment. We have done for you. We donated to your campaign. We need you. To pay it back now. In September 2021, the Turkish official told Adams that it was his turn to repay the Turkish official by pressuring the New York City Fire Department to facilitate the opening of a new Turkish consular building, a 36-story sky skyscraper without a fire inspection. In time for a high-profile visit by Turkey's president, at the time, the building would have failed in a fire department inspection. In exchange for free travel and other travel-related bribes in 2021 and 2022, arranged by the Turkish official, Adams did as instructed because of Adams' pressure on the the. Um, fire department, the fire department official responsible for the assessment of the skyscrapers fire safety was told that he would lose his job if he failed to acquiesce and after Adams intervened, the skyscraper opened as requested by the Turkish official. Can you imagine 36 story skyscraper that if if the fire department truly did their assessment, it would have failed and that building would not have been able to open. Can you imagine the lives that Mayor Adams put in danger? Mm. Ooh, child, they got a blurb right here that says, baby, if you got any information as to the misconduct 
regarding bribery or fraud or illegal conduct conducted by Mayor Adams, please contact that, 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 that. Okay? They got a telephone number. They got an email address. They got a, a whistleblower program email address. <laughs> Listen. Adams is 64 years old. He is from Brooklyn, New York, and he is charged with one count of conspiracy to receive campaign contributions from foreign nationals and commit wire fraud and bribery, which carries a maximum sentence of five years. One count of wire fraud, which carries a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison, two counts of soliciting campaign contributions from foreign nationals, which each carry a maximum sentence of five years in prison. So for two counts, that's a total of 10 years and one count of soliciting and accepting a bribe, which carries a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison goes into talking about the DA who worked on the case. Listen, we all know that the Department of Justice does not bring forth charges that they cannot prove. Mm. But Mayor Adams said that he was going to um, fight these charges. Mm-hmm. I will put the video right here. My fellow New Yorkers, it is now my belief that the federal government intends to charge me with crimes. If so, these charges will be entirely false based on lies. But they would not be surprising. I always knew that if I stood my ground for all of you, that I would be a target. And a target I became. For months, leaks and rumors have been aimed at me in an attempt to undermine my credibility and paint me as guilty. Just this past week, they searched the home of our new police commissioner, looking for documents from 20 years ago, just one week after he joined my administration. Enough. I will fight these injustices with every ounce of my strength and my spirit. Now, let me ask y'all a question, because when I did my um, breaking news video and I talk, talked about his connection to the bling pastor, I said that the bling pastor had already been on trial for his scamming and, and how he was stealing money from the elderly women in his church. I told y'all he I believe he had been put on trial and found guilty. It's true. He is in prison. He is in prison for his crimes. Now, here's my question, peeps. You think the bling pastor is snitching on Mayor Eric Adams? That's question number one. Question number two. Do you wonder, a lot of people are trying to look at his indictment and try to tie him into Sean Diddy Combs. Do you think there's a connection between Mayor Eric Adams and Sean Diddy Combs? I don't know. I don't know if there's a connection. I like to, I, I like to see things. I like to read things from credible sources before I make any type of decision. I don't like to speculate a lot of the times i may get a feeling and i may stand 10 toes down in that feeling but yeah when it comes to this i don't know but y'all let me know your thoughts down below mm -hmm. and i hear y'all all of y'all that are talking about that mayor Ad adams has been indicted the bling pastor has been indicted Diddy has been indicted. All these men have been indicted. All of the people around Donald Trump have been indicted. And yet Donald Trump still runs free. It's a shame. And we know why. We, we, I hear y'all when y'all talk about Clarence Thomas, him 
Mayor Eric Adams taking bribes and luxury trips and vacations and, you know, as a result of, of taking these bribes, giving favor to these individuals. If that's the case, then why haven't they arrested Clarence Thomas? I hear y'all and I agree with y'all. And Clarence Thomas is a black man. But Clarence Thomas is a black man that carries favor from rich white billionaires. Y'all get down in the comments and y'all let me know your thoughts on the specifics as to what Mayor Adams was involved with. Y'all could have had Mayor Maya. But too many misogynistic people in this world just could not see that woman leading the city. She was more than qualified. Y'all could have had Mayor Maya. I like Mayor Maya. All right, y'all. That's all I got. I'll see y'all in the next one.